Hey everybody, Jess with Key Tarot. I'm just gonna do a real quick general reading. Let's say a quick blessing, we'll find out what it's about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All right, I'm gonna start us with this artist in her vision tarot and find out what we have going on today. Happy Wednesday. I got the lover's card out. Very good. So we have um, possibly an important choice in love coming towards someone. The lover's card is the card of Gemini, but it's really about um, having to make a choice about do I commit to this person? Do I not commit to this person? That means there's someone coming towards you in a romantic way. Well, let's find out more. I got the king of cups. This is great. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but the king of cups is someone who knows how they feel may not be talking about it just yet. The King of Cups is not always very uh, communicative, uh, whether he's in the upright or in the reverse position, but this is someone who's definitely had their eye on you for some time. Someone who wants to come towards you, or this could be you, all right? You just gotta decide which character you play in this story if it does, in fact, resonate with you in your life. And I have the Queen of Wands that comes out on top of that. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. Um, but again, don't get hung up on the zodiac signs that I call out. It's not really about that. It's about the energy that the card carries and the story that it tells, right? So this Queen of Wands energy, um, this person, they're looking at you as someone who's extremely beautiful, extremely attractive, handsome, whatever. Um, and this person, and don't get hung up on the genders either. You know, it's not about that either. Um, so this person is seeing you as someone who's very magnetic, someone who is fun to be around someone that is just that just um excites them in some way excites their passion in some way this person wants to reach out and um i don't know tell you how much they love you i think i've got the hierophant card this is somebody who wants a commitment uh the hierophant is the card is a card of marriage it's a card of taurus but this is uh definitely a card of commitment and that's why we have this lover's card that comes out in the first position because it's again it's a choice in love if i choose this one person then all of my other love options are wiped off the table and i'm committed to that one person if i don't choose that one person then i get to keep all my other options but i might not get that one person so that is why it's about choice. I've got the Wheel of Fortune. I have the Justice card coming out. This is someone who, um, I don't know, maybe in the past it has always been bad timing for you and this individual to come together. Um, you guys may be going through a lot, both of you, um, at the same time, or you may have both just recently been through some kind of separation or some kind of um, ending in another relationship or something like that. This justice card that comes out is the card of Libra, but it can also be a card that signifies legal matters in love relationships or legal matters in general, because this is such a heavy love reading. Um, it could be someone who's gone through a divorce recently um, or someone who's started that process in some way. This wheel of fortune energy says that the timing is now right. There's an energy of clearing a pathway for the two of you to come together in some way. And this justice card also indicates equal, um, equal fairness on both sides. It equal, um, equal give and take and also reciprocity. So this person thinks that you are just as wonderful as you think they are. That's interesting. So you actually will probably like this person a lot, but this person would like some kind of commitment with you. All right, one more out with this deck and then I'm gonna switch decks and see if I can get a little more information. I have the Knight of Cups, good job. So we got the King of Cups and now we got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is someone who wants to offer their heart. Okay, pages send messages. Knights bring actual tangible gifts. This person is probably gonna come to you. They're gonna speak to you. They're gonna say, hey, listen, I know things haven't gone well in the past because of A, B, and C reasons, or perhaps you were with another person or I was with another person, something like that. The timing wasn't right in the past, but now it is. With this Wheel of Fortune that comes out, this person's gonna ask you, they're gonna say, is now, an, is now a good time for us to get together in some way? Alrighty, let me get another deck here. Let us use... Let's use this Tarot of Wonderland to clarify. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Three of Cups and then I've got the Ace of Wands on the other side. So this Three of Cups is an energy of reconciliation. And it, this um, Ace of Wands, I should say, is an energy of um, extreme sexual passion. The Ace of Wands is one of the most phallic cards in the entire deck and it indicates extreme sexual attraction. Um, so does that Queen of Wands energy as well. I 
I have the um, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who perhaps, uh, man, I didn't want to say that when I saw that Three of Cups. Um, it, it's possible in the past this person may have tried to juggle you with another person. You may have said, no, that's not going to work for me. And now they have freed themselves from a different situation. And now they want to come back in and say, hey, listen, I'm single. Are you single? Can we get together? And I have the King of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is someone who's very clear in their mind as to what they want to say, how they want to say it now. This is someone who's learned how to communicate more efficiently than they perhaps were in the past. This is someone who wants to make the right choice. They don't want to screw things up. They want to make sure that when they do come in and speak with you, they say the right things. And now I've got the King of Wands. We got a lot of court cards on here, guys. Um, this tells me that there may be more than one uh, than two people involved in this situation. Like I said, this person may be recently divorced or recently started the process of divorce. Um, but this King of Wands energy obviously goes with this Queen of Wands energy, which is like a true pair. And like I said, this person finds you to be just as attractive as you will find them to be. Very good job attracting this kind of partnership into your life. And I have the Wheel of Fortune out again. Good job. I love it when you give me repeats, right? Because that tells me that the energy is really clear. This says good timing. This says the timing is now. This is a good This is a good time to start this. This is a good time to have this conversation. And it's like time's up is what I'm hearing. Time's up. It's time. I've got the Temperance card that comes out with that. That's the card of Sagittarius. Um, that's an energy of rebalancing. It's an energy of routines and habits. This is someone who wants to come in and say, listen, I think I was very off balance the last time that we talked, the last time that we met, there were things going on that I didn't like seeing in myself. And now I've made a lot of positive changes. Is it possible for me to come back into your life now? Um, or it could also be, it's also the card of Sagittarius. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. You may be a Sagittarius. And I have the death card on top of that which is the card of Scorpio this will be a highly transformative relationship this is somebody who has ended something for sure and this um, relationship is going to make major changes in both of your lives whenever you get together very good the um, energy of the death card is painful and challenging transformation that is necessary for growth um, and with it being so close to this justice card it does feel like there was a major ending in this person's life or perhaps your life that has led the two of you back together how are you gonna feel about this situation let me let me actually switch decks here okay um I, I, apparently I got to take this card out too. This is the eight of cups. This is someone who wants to say, I, I did walk away from whoever this other person was. I did. And it wasn't, um, it wasn't a pretty situation. That's kind of what I'm hearing with this eight of cups. And this person's saying, I can't believe I stuck it out as long as I did in that other relationship. And it feels almost apologetic. Okay. How are you going to feel about this person? I feel like there's going to be a lot of attraction there on both sides already. I'm just wondering, there was some kind of little hitch in the giddy up here before because I do feel like reconciliatory energy. Two of Cups, you're going to like this person. I like it. Two of Cups is, again, one of our soulmate cards in the deck, as is the lovers, right? Very good job. I like that. This is a kindred partnership. This is a soulmate dynamic coming together. Um, it can indicate a very um, fortuitous um, and productive partnership. Very good. One that will have a lot of balance to it and also a lot of prosperity such a good sign and you're gonna like this person you'll be friends as well as very attracted to one another seven of pentacles it feels like you have actually waited on this person for a long time you actually didn't think it was gonna happen um, for whatever reason perhaps this person was really committed in another relationship for some time um, but this seven of pentacles can indicate waiting a long time for something to happen perhaps this person's waited a long time for you to be single I don't know I have the tower in the reverse and the two of pentacles out again. Both of them in the reverse. This person says, I was so off balance before. Please forgive me. This is what I'm hearing. And then this tower in the reverse is an energy of someone who has recent, I feel like what's happened is they've seen you recently and it's kind of brought all of these emotions to the forefront of their mind again. It feels almost as though they're, um, 
they kind of can't let it go. They're kind of starting to obsess about you, whoever you are. Um, and this could be you doing the same to them. I don't know, again, you'll have to decide which side of the coin of this story you're on. But this tower, can it feels like someone who saw you from a distance or something ran into you recently and it sparked all of these feelings coming back again. And I've got the King of Swords out again. I love it when you guys give me the repeats. I love it so much. Um, but the King of Swords is someone, again, who says, now I know my heart, now I know my mind, and I'm ready to talk about it. This person's gonna send you a message. Um, this message will probably be digital communication in some way, whether it's a text message, a DM, even an email. Oh my gosh, are we still doing that? Yes, I guess so. But this is an energy of someone who wants to speak their mind. Again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They say they're not gonna let it go. They know that this is the right situation for them and I feel like you feel the same way and I've got the magician very good this is the card of a fecus for me as a reader some people saw, say it's Aries but really and truly it's an energy of taking matters into your own hands and it's a an major energy of transformation um, as is this death card this is somebody who says I'm gonna make it happen I don't care how it happens I'm gonna make it happen very good. Whoever you are, this is a beautiful union coming towards you. That Wheel of Fortune card out there twice. You've got the King of Swords out there twice. You've got two soulmate cards out there. And that Two of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who recognizes that they were very off balance for some time. Um, and they, it feels almost, again, apologetic in the way that they perhaps treated you in the past. I don't know what it was. I don't know if they were trying to juggle more than one person at a time, if that was maybe their intention. And you said, no, thanks. I don't like that. Um, and you walked away at some point. But there is definitely a pair, a true pair here with this King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy here. And there's someone who wants to do this the right way. And the timing is now. The timing is clear. And it looks like they're going to be asking for some kind of a commitment. Very good job, you. Way to go we got some kind of soulmate relationship i love it it's adorable i will see you guys tomorrow have a good day